In this week's video, we're going to look at a Bible passage that really challenges us to examine just how serious we are about our walk. Today we're going to look at Luke chapter 13 verse 24 and examine what it says and what it doesn't say. Now let me set this up for you uh, very briefly. In the preceding verses we see that Jesus as he was making his way to Jerusalem has been going through the different towns and villages teaching. And the Bible tells us that someone comes up to him and asks him a question. And this is what the question is. It says, Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And that's a pretty incredible question right off the bat that someone would ask. But what's even more incredible is what Jesus responds. So let's read Luke 13, verse 24. And this is how it reads. It says, And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Now, to be fair, Jesus' answer is actually more than that. The answer uh, continues on through verse 30. But today we want to focus on this verse because this verse seems to cause a little bit of problems and questions in people's minds. And that's what we want to do today is look at what this passage of Scripture, this verse specifically, is telling us and how we can learn a great deal about our own walks with Christ. Now, the first thing that Jesus says is to strive. The NIV translates this word to make every effort. The Greek word here is a word uh, that we get agonized from. It speaks of struggling, and it speaks of working hard toward, sort of like an athlete struggles and agonizes in his athletic efforts. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, Paul uses the same type of language. And this is what it says. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run? But one receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may obtain it. You know, we're encouraged to strive, to work hard, to struggle, just like an athlete in a race that wants to win the race. We too have a, a struggle or a race to the end of our life that we would do so in a manner that just doesn't get us there, but as if we're trying to win the race. Paul speaks of his own life, his own race, in his letter to Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And that's exactly what we're called to do. We're called to run a good race. So what does this mean? Well, before we answer that question, let's look at the second thing that Jesus said in Luke 13, 24. He said to strive to get through the narrow gate. Let's talk about the narrow gate. In the great Sermon on the Mount, we get introduced to this narrow gate. In Matthew chapter uh, 7, verse 13, this is what it says. It says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are a few who find it. So what is this gate that Jesus is talking about? What is this gate into heaven? The Bible clearly teaches us that Jesus himself is the only way to heaven and to eternal life. So what do we get by reading this passage in Luke 
And this answer that Jesus gave this man to this question, that we are to strive, or that he encourages us to strive to get in through the narrow gate. Before we get to the answer, let's look at the third thing in that verse and what it says. It says that many will try and will not be able. What is that telling us? Okay, so in order for us to wrap this up and and be able to answer all these questions, we really need to read a little bit further. So I'm going to go back to Luke chapter 13. I'm going to pick it up where we started at verse 24, but I'm going to read down through verse 27. And this is what it says. Jesus, in his answer to this question, says, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, will, many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you, where you are from. Then you will begin to say, but we ate and drank in your presence and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know you, where you are from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. So what Jesus is teaching us here is that it's not the mere association with Jesus that saves us. The Bible teaches us that we're saved by grace through faith. So do we have that genuine saving faith? And is it reflected in the way we live? Is our walk a serious walk with Christ? Or are we just going along, taking it easy, content in the idea or the thought that I once prayed and asked God to forgive me and asked Jesus into my heart? Or does my life truly does, does it really reflect that I have surrendered myself to him? Do people see me seven days a week as being different, as being a follower of Christ? Or do they just see that on Sunday? What this passage does not say, it does not say that I can earn my way to heaven. It does not say that we can strive and and work hard to earn a place or, or deserve salvation. No, what this passage of scripture does do for us, it encourages us to do some self-examination, to look at ourselves, to ask the question, are we agonizing? Are we striving? Are we making every effort to draw near to Christ, to seek his face, to know him? You know, the, the passage of scripture talks about a time when it'll be too late. It's when the door will be closed. Now, I interpret that to be the day that we die. And that the day that we die, that door is closed and it's too late. So it's now, as you're hearing this, I, I urge you to consider these words of Jesus and to examine your own heart. Are you agonizing to know him better? Are you striving to seek his face? Are you seeking every way to draw nearer to him? I hope you are blessed by this video today. If this is your first time here to our channel, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. And then I'd like to ask you for one thing, and that is your prayers. I like to end all my videos by encouraging people to do three things. Number one, read your Bible daily. Get to know the Word of God. Make it an, a part of your everyday habits. Number two, develop a strong prayer life. Pray without ceasing. Pray to God every day and about everything. And number three, maintain a Berean attitude. And what that means, 
is that no matter what you hear, whether you hear it from me, from a pastor, uh, or anywhere else, anybody that talks to you about Jesus, God, the Bible, don't take their word for it. Do as the Bereans and search the scriptures daily to see if what they're telling you is true. God bless you.